Electricity? You do? Well, would you like it if your electricity came from a clean, safe, reliable, safe, efficient, and safe source? You would? Well then, have I got the answer to your prayers? Come with me on a magical journey through the world of nuclear power. The process. So, what is nuclear power? Nuclear power involves a process called nuclear fission. This process consists of neutrons bombarding uranium-235 atoms, causing them to split, releasing energy, and more neutrons, which create a chain reaction. Here we have a typical nuclear power plant. Oh, hello there, Andy. Oh, looks like he wants to show us something. Here we have a typical nuclear power plant, and one of its operators has volunteered to demonstrate the complex process involved in nuclear fission. So how does nuclear fission create electricity? Well, uranium atoms are contained in nuclear fuel rods immersed in water. When the atoms are split, the energy heats the water in the primary water system, which in turn heats the water in the secondary system until it is converted into steam. This steam turns a turbine, which is connected to a generator. And Andy here is going to show us how he starts off this whole process. Well, looks like he's got his neutron there. And what's he gonna do with it? Hmm. Oh, I think he's gonna bombard himself with some uranium atoms. Vision. Good job, Andy. It's clean. As you can see here, nuclear power plants are entirely closed systems, save for the uptake and output of water. Here we have a bar graph. This is the current situation for US energy, with roughly 70% coming from fossil fuels and 20% from nuclear power. And this is how it should be. Much better, you guys. Nuclear power plants are safe, plain and simple. As of 2007, there were 439 operating nuclear reactors in the world, and there have only been two serious nuclear accidents in history. Note the word serious in the previous sentence. Andy here has been impaled, but it's simply a minor injury. See, Michelle isn't even phased and is returning to work. In fact, Andy is too. No harm done. It's efficient. Nuclear power averages out to be about 91% efficient, while coal is only about 40% efficient. Inefficient Andy is obviously representing coal, while super efficient Brian here will represent nuclear energy. Which one would you choose? Hello, American friends. Hello, foreigner. Would you like some oil? No, thank you. I have nuclear energy. Fine. Good day. All right, now let's have a review of what we've learned so far. Did you catch all that? I hope so, because I'm not repeating it. Now you know all there is to know about nuclear power and why it is so safe and reliable and clean and safe. And thank you very much for coming with me on that journey through the world of nuclear power. Oh, kind of tired actually. It was a long journey.